questions for the core devs? Anyone to drag out? Not really? It's not 
So we can use uh, something which uh, is like is already here, and yeah, in this case we could reuse it. But I doubt that we have resources to like really think about it and do something meaningful. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to say thank you to the core team and uh, for the challenging task you had. Um, one core member leaving your team for the upcoming hard fork in January and the roadmap for 2020. Just want to say thank you to the core team for one humble community user. Thank you. Uh, I imagine like that someday the core team announced that the, now it's green is stable, so there's nothing to do in the core. So let's do, we focus on the application level someday. So I in, I just wonder when that kind of day will come, or just how what kind of feature are finished and you will realize that it's a stable. No, that, that, that's a really good question. Um, as far as the features being stable, um, I, I'd like, almost like to hope it's not the case because that means we're ossified in the current today's technology and we'll never be able to kind of experiment like some of the other stuff you were talking about earlier about aggregating kernels and kind of uh, transactions, you know, BLS signatures and all stuff where you can, like Schnorr signature requires interaction in all points, like a couple of rounds, but a BLS will require more. And all of that kind of stuff, like this is already stuff we keep, what we do really want to research and want to keep moving on. Like it's not just about the green point, it's about the mid wimble technology and moving it all in research and what have you. So, um, I mean, that's one aspect of it. Um, do you want to? Uh, yeah, I think there is no such point in software when you, you can say that it's like a finished product. Uh, you can only stop, uh, but you can't say that. Yes, I'm done. It's perfect. It never happens, and I doubt it will happen. It's going. We can stop, of course, but yeah. But there will be some time when, <clears throat> at least for like the wallet developer layer, <clears throat> or developers building on top of Grid, where you know, groundbreaking changes will happen less frequently than what they do today. And there's a natural timeline for the hard forks, right? So we have four scheduled hard forks. We've done one, and we have three left. After that, we don't know how we're going to handle that. So there's going to be some sort of less revolutionizing changes every 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 couple of months, uh, naturally. Yeah, I mean it, it's a very young point. So the the tech can be launched, and then you know we're still adding features, adding features, and, and these are not like groundbreaking features. They're just getting us to a point where we can we can build. Like preventing, presenting the API for developers to move on with. Um, I'd hope that these would kind of solidify over time, but at the same time, I hope that's not going to be like the end of development. Like we're still going to want to do our, you know, our advanced research and look into, you know, things that don't exist now that can really assist, you know, in the future with privacy and all of our other goals. So. Uh, a grid will probably never be feature complete, but it may in a few years uh, seemingly reach a point of being a consensus complete. Um, the nice thing about grid is that uh, with the scriptless script, the fact that grid lacks scripts means that you're forced to do interesting things outside of the, on top of the consensus model. So there's a lot we can we can build that doesn't require any consensus changes. Um, so we know uh, one consensus change that we want to have added, uh, speaking per more personally, is, is, the, uh, is the relative kernels, which is a feature we need to build uh, payment channels. Uh, beyond that, it's, it's not clear what is there that really needs to be in as a feature in the, in the as, as a new feature in the consensus model. There's lots of stuff we can build on top of that. Uh, including uh, a lot of potential um, 
uh, private, further privacy, privacy enhancing technology. For that, we don't need to uh, touch the consensus layer. So maybe uh, less of a question, but more of a suggestion. So <clears throat> it was interesting to uh, see what pro what kind of category of open problems exist in learning. And uh, my suggestion would be to really um, woo the academic uh, community. Uh, I think uh, given doing the class of problems, uh, you should really, really like, invest into a big charm offensive and try to challenge the academic community uh, to help to, to basically help you uh, with some of these issues. Um, I, I, I think this is, you know, this, this is the this is a great partner for the project. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, about seventy percent of that list was actually from the Stanford uh, crypto, like the one A's from, and um, I think we talked about this a lot last year. That like a lot of the, the kind of the stuff that really applies to Ben is actually coming out of one place. So we, we actually have talked about um, maybe we should engage a bit more with them. Have not so much a bounty program, but you know, some kind of way of, of maybe a grant or something from the Ben Foundation. Or just, yeah, absolutely. To kind of. There's quite a few technologies out there that have come out of like the Stanford Crypto Institute, but um, how they exactly apply to Rin isn't necessarily clear, so that's a bit of research that still needs to be done, which we're definitely actively thinking about that. That's a really, really good point to make. I second that comment. Um, John and I had dinner last night, and I said, what are the problems longer-term problems that Grin's trying to solve, and we said that we could probably bring some, you know, some of the academic approaches or resources to help solve these problems. You know, we know there's a lot of grant money available, and you know, you only have so many resources. So I think you know, formalizing that approach and maybe approaching some of the, you know, more interested people or more connected people in the Grin community would certainly go a long ways to leverage the grassroots efforts and you know, help them much faster based on the limited budget. Uh, when we going to have green swap 1.0? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I've been working on it in the past few months on, uh, on the green, green club grade. So I've done a lot of internal testing already on you know, integrated into Wallet 713, but it's not entirely feature complete yet. So, you know, if for example the other party decides he doesn't want to continue with the swap and the timeouts, you have to, you know, we have to make sure that it's, you know, in a functioning state before, you know, before it's, uh, before I release it. But um, it should be relatively, relatively soon. I should have a like a, a public testing phase. And I'll, I'll make a post about it and then welcome you all to test it and give feedback. Cool. So I think there's no more questions. Thank you very much for coming. That's it. Thank you. Thanks to everybody watching us online as well.